welcome back to Strings and More, episode number three. Uh, my name is Shanna from Lamb Strings Yarn, and I'm Jamie from nothing from <laughs> my life. Uh, Jamie, my BKF, my best knitting friend. Um, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome to our podcast about knitting and a little bit of spinning and some product review. Is I've, we've been doing a lot of product review. Yes. And if you are returning, then thank you so much for coming back, and we are so happy to see you back, and thanks for wanting to spend some time with us. Um, today, uh, we have a couple of um, continuations from last week, and we have some new things, and we are really excited to talk to you again outside today, and enjoying the noise of the babbling brook, um, which is very actually relaxing. Um, yes. So it didn't bother anybody, so we're going to keep it on. So um, You can find us on social media. I'm Lambstrings Yarn on Instagram and on Twitter, and I'm Lambstrings on Ravelry. Um, and I'm on Facebook. I have a blog spot, lambstrings.blogspot.com, and you can find my beautiful hand-dyed yarns, um, which are dyed right here in um, Patchog, New York, where we are coming at you from. And uh, you can find them on lambstrings.etsy.com. And I have a shop update, and we'll talk about that later. Hey, we'll throw that in a little later. Finally have a shop update. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's exciting. Um, oh, what would you like me. to start with? Oh, yes. <laughs> you. What's, what's Good. Good. Who are you? Are you? <laughs> <laughs> Not that I have much. My Instagram is <laughs> Leslie G. Knits. And, um... Ravelry. Ravelry. I'm Jamie M. <laughs> it's so hard to remember <laughs> all the social media platforms. I have a Facebook... <laughs> I have a Facebook, but everything's private, and I'm just, I, my kids are all over it, so I'm just kind of scared to unprivate it. Yeah. To, I yeah. Don't, I don't know. Facebook is tough. Facebook yeah. is, Facebook is Facebook. Anyway, so, um, did we start a Ravelry group? No, we were no, going to. We were going to. We will start it after the We're going to start video. a Ravelry group. <laughs> we're going to start a Ravelry group, and I'll put it in the show notes when it's ready for you guys to come join us, and we can have some really cool talks and topics, and we have uh, a lot of stuff that we want to talk about on our Ravelry group, yes. so. Right now, um, we have 33 subscribers. Yay! <laughs> uh, and we also want to talk about a 100 uh, subscriber uh, gift, free gift for you guys, so we'll talk about that later, too. Um, lots of stuff today. Um, from yeah. you, anyway. From I me, like I, I know, I guess. Much. No, you have some, no, have she has bit. stuff. I have a little bit. She's lying, she has stuff. A little bit. She totally has stuff. Um, so, yeah. What else? Thank you know. to all of our commenters. Oh, yes. We had some new comments. Just yes. I don't know. Someone liked the mug. Yeah. Um, the octopus mug. It was from Home I think, Goods. actually, you know what? They might have been talking about your um, F off right. I'm knitting mug. Yeah. Because F you had that, too. The F off I'm knitting mug is Cafe Press. And um, you could get it in an act actual mug. Or like the travel mug like I have. You could probably get it on any, anything. It's Cafe Press. Cafe Press dot com, yeah. They, yeah. they put a, like a lot of handmade stuff on, like t shirts and yeah. mugs bags and, and bags and things like that. Um, um but and the then little, I had the octopus mug. The little octopus mug was from Home Goods. Which how, which how I don't, far is Home Goods? I don't I don't, I don't know. know. I don't Home Goods is, is like a um, home store, like a home goods store. <laughs> yeah, well it's like Marshalls. I don't know I don't know how many people are I don't know how widely these franchises yeah, span. I don't know and where you're coming from. But um it's basically almost like I don't want to say bed bath and beyond. It is though. It's, it's yeah. You know but, what they do? They buy actually from auction. So, like, they buy, like, um, stuff that isn't sold widely in other stores or stuff that has been discontinued, and the people who work for Home Goods go and buy it at, like, an auction, oh. and, and then they bring it back to the store and they can sell it there. So, like, they have a lot of, like, Yankee candles and stuff that aren't sold at the Yankee Candle store that you can't get from the website. Um, a lot of, like, really nice furniture, and it's a hit or miss. Yeah, they have artwork there. Yeah, they have like, a lot of things, stuff. Things, they mugs and yeah. plates, and the mug, the octopus mug was the only one there. It was the only one. And I have never, I haven't seen it since, so it, it is, it's hit and miss. It's, it's hit and miss, it's, yeah. It's what's there um, at the time. And uh, they never have the same thing twice, so like, and you, like, I, if you've been to Home Goods, then you'll know exactly what I'm saying. You either go and you leave spending like $150 on like random, like home decor, um, or you leave and you're like, I had nothing. I don't think you could buy online either. You can't buy you online. Can't. You cannot buy online. It's. It's you go when you have you have like when you have money burning a hole in your pocket, which who has that? But like, 
when you feel like you want to spend money and you don't know what to spend money on, you go to Home Goods. <laughs> or like if you're just looking like what we did, we, we go to a house and we we're like, we need some stuff to decorate the <laughs> house with. <laughs> Things we need to go inside goods. the house. <laughs> yes. I think. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so we have a couple of things. Let's talk about some stuff. What do we have today? What do you want to start with? I don't know. Last week we started with... Oh. Well, do you want to start with my non-knitting thing that I wanted to show you? Or do you want to leave that kind of towards the end so people don't want to see it? I don't know. It's up to you. Jamie had a surprise it's a, that it's she... It's a nerdy thing. It's uh, something I know she would like. Jamie had a surprise. And, <laughs> and I like it. I want to kind of, I want to kind of a little bit go over like how we do, um, how we prep for these podcasts because I know somebody mentioned that um, it was very, um, not random, but they were like, it just was unplanned, like, like our stuff was unplanned. Um, and she really liked it that way, which thank you so much for yeah. saying that, because we like it that way, too. Um, any compliments? Welcome. Any compliments? Yeah. <laughs> compliments. Feed me compliments. Um, so, basically, That's like, fun. we have show notes and stuff, but um, a lot of this stuff is pretty random. Like, there were a couple of things that I had that I, I showed Jamie on the podcast for the first time last week that I didn't show her beforehand, because um, I just think it's better that way. I don't want to go over everything with you. I want to be surprised. Yeah, well, I feel like if we talk into bed before... Then we're going to be like, and our conversations oh my God. during the podcast, you're going to be like, oh yeah, very nice. That's yeah, cool. it's not going to be genuine. It's not going to be like yeah. a genuine surprise. All right. Um, but Jamie had a surprise for me that she was dying uh, to show me before. Now, yes, right. I want to see it now. I think it's really cool. What if but I'm I like, am a nerd. Oh, okay. You like it. <laughs> all right. If Jamie says I, I like it, I'll like it. I to you about it a little without hinting that that's what's in my bag. <laughs> I am. Oh, you know what? What did you do? I'm not. The wind is moving this. Uh-oh. Sorry, guys, if it's bouncy. Our structure... <laughs> it, it's games and boxes. and <laughs> yeah. Games and um, boxes, like bunny hop. Yeah, we, <laughs> the way that we have this um, situated and, and, like, I keep... For? <laughs> yeah, I know. Look, this is, like, admin stuff. The way that we have this set up is a little different every week because, um... It's just a little <laughs> we different. can never remember how we did it. We can never remember how we did it. Um, there's, like, a Christmas box and bunny hop game and, um... Trouble is underneath. Trouble. I, or malarkey. This is all Maybe set up with, with games and like yeah. there's like a little cardboard garbage thing behind it. That's her setup. It's nice structure. and professional. So um, if the wind hits too hard, it's going to bounce a little bit. So we'll see. Anyway, what you got? My bag of the, the goodies. It's um, I'm like, <laughs> it's a Game of Thrones. Yay! I bought an extra C C Series 3 box for myself because <laughs> I wanted to open one right away. That's what I do! <laughs> So, okay, it's Funko Minis, like the blind boxes. If you guys aren't... We like the Game of Thrones ones. If you guys aren't familiar with blind boxes, basically, um, they actually have them at, like, the craft stores now. Um, what it... I have to explain what it is. What yeah. it is is, um, it, like, they have them in... It's corresponding to, like, different TV shows. They have them everywhere now. I feel like Target, everywhere. Toys R Us, Barnes the and Noble stores, has them, yeah. the bookstores. So it's a little box, and it corresponds with a series or something that you might be watching or anything like that. And it's all these little different characters in there, and you don't know which character you're going to get. So it shows you on the outside It's fun. <laughs> all of these characters that you could get. So, for instance, like with Game of Thrones... Next week's the last episode, and we're, like, crying, all right? Next week's the... Tomorrow's it's right here. the, uh... Tomorrow. Well, the next episode is the I last one. You got it? Yeah. Uh, we have a bug yeah, issue. We're, we're very sad. <laughs> I know, we're sad. But, we're, but um, to make us feel better, we have to buy ourselves things. And, so. um, so it shows you, like, all the different characters that you could possibly get when you open it, and you never know what you're going to get. So, like, you buy, like, tons and tons of them, like, tons of them. You can have every uh, character that yeah, that a chance. series comes with, um, or you could double up on them like we do, and or have like, like quadruple up. And yeah, like you you could have like three hundred, uh, you know, ghost dogs from Game of Thrones, <laughs> like which I have. Um, yeah, me too. But they're super Both exciting, and I'm obsessed with them. For years, I've been obsessed with these. I can't get enough. I have to buy them when I see them. Did you buy an extra one? I bought an extra one. I got Ramsey Bolton. Oh shit. <laughs> Did you really? I did. Oh my god! I, I looked at him and I couldn't tell exactly who he was at first. I'm like, who is this? Ron looked at him. He's like, this is, is that awesome. Ramsey? And I lost my shit. I was like, it's Ramsey Bolton. <laughs> he. Oh wait, spoiler. Spoiler alert! Don't, if you haven't if watched Game of Thrones, up. mute this yeah. now, okay? And I'll I'll go like this <laughs> when we're done talking about yeah. it. So mute. But. He just died. Oh my god, the best death ever. And like, and it was so satisfying. It was like, if you thought that you were gonna miss, him. like, Joffrey, 
like hating Joffrey, you know nothing. You Jon Snows, you know nothing. You're gonna, you're gonna hate. You're gonna miss him bad. You're gonna miss him bad. Um, I can't was, say his name correctly, good. and we are infamous for not saying names correctly anyway. Um, but we are great actor. Yeah. Love you. He you're not watching. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? You might not. <laughs> Maybe I'll just send but this so, to you. Yeah, we got Ramsey. That's awesome. That's awesome. I'm so excited. And tomorrow I, for I, the... I texted a picture of him right when I opened him to my sister-in-law and she flipped out and she's like, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> you know, he should have come with a dog. And that's what I told him. Oh. He should have had a little a little puppy by his shoe. They also but. do, um, like with Game of Thrones, <laughs> they do, the Funko series also has like a dead series, like a series of blind boxes for characters that have passed on. Um, so I think it's awesome that you got that the week after it happened. Yeah, I was, I couldn't believe it. I, was like, I think I got the best one. And there's more, the we're going to open some more tomorrow for the season finale. Yeah. I'm so excited. And so upset. We're, we, we all watch it together. There's five of us. Yes. Um, me, Ron, Shanna, Seth, and Matt, Seth's brother. Yeah, Jamie and her husband, <laughs> myself and my fiancé, and my fiancé's um, brother. So we all, um, we all get together and we watch it together, and it's fun. We yell at the TV, yep. we, uh, we yeah. eat You know, <laughs> there are people who set up, like, um, video cameras, like, in front of the TV for the last episodes, and I think we need to do that. I love watching people's reactions to, like, the last episode of things. Oh, like, last episode, I shrieked. I Jamie shrieked. screamed! Yeah. <laughs> 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 she went, ah! And then <laughs> usually I'm not like that, but I was watching it, like, this <laughs> and yeah I, I, I really really a great episode um anyway I think like I'm so excited so upset next week we're gonna be like crying over it yeah, next week is gonna be we're gonna sad. be like depressed so um anyway okay this all is right. the sign we're done talking about <laughs> Game of Thrones I'm signing off for the spoiler all right all right what else we got that was a good surprise Thank you. we, so we should excited. probably actually talk about yarn now and knitting <laughs> who wants to hear that you right, we want to hear that okay <laughs> Let's do, um, you want to do whips first? Whips seem to work yeah, first. Yeah, I've only got one whip. You've got how one whip? How many whips do you have? You um, have I have, uh, how many whips do I have? I have two. Technically, I have two. Two. And then, like, almost well, one. Technically, I have two, too, but I didn't, the, um, the Lestrange shawl, mm -hmm. I, I did nothing on it, so I was like, eh. <laughs> that stayed inside. Yeah. For shame! Well, because... Ow. Shame. You go. If you've right. got two, then you go. I'll go. All right. So um, I'm gonna pull the same one from last week that I was working on. Oh, and it's, it's all got in a new strength. color. In it. it has a new color in it. Um, I am still working um, on Hohi Locatelli's uh, three color cashmere shawl um, for the grocery girls um, summer long Hohi along, and I have gotten pretty far. So I. I have gone pretty far. Actually, and I have a progress keeper from last week, so I can show you how far I got. <laughs> um, my little clay croissant progress keeper. See how far down that is? All the way at the bottom? Look at that. I'm I'm going strong. You are beating me show-wise. I'm like, you I don't know what's happening. You know why? Because I'm being, like, monogamous. Like, I'm working on one thing, which I never really do. <laughs> That's um, what I did all week. That's what you did all week. That's okay. <laughs> um, and I'm pretty monogamous with this. You know why? Because I, I knew I wanted, I knew I wanted a certain amount done. I wanted to get the third color in before I was ready to show you guys because I want you guys to see all the colors together. So, what I'm doing is I'm placing my third color, my color C. Um, I'm giving it two rows up here in the swipe section, and then I'm going to do this color as the block section. If you're not familiar um, with the shawl, I'm going to put up a, a photo right here. And so I've put in my third color there. And this is um, Lambstrings yarn, uh, my hand dyed yarn, the Tralala sock base, which is 25% merino, superwash merino, no, 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon sock yarn. And uh, my first color is uh, Toasted, which is just like a little, actually, I wonder, so many people were asking me how this knits up. So it knits up like this. Um, it's, ooh, I got yarn in my tea. Um, so there are holes in the shawl that are uh, part of the design, and then there are um, these little specks of like brownish, yellowish, um, like a toasted marshmallow, like toasted marshmallow colors that just kind of make a random appearance there, which I think is like, I don't know, now that I'm seeing it here outside, 
I knit this inside, and I, you can never tell inside. Outside, this is really nice. And then um, my second color is the Tralala Sock, also in the color Hydro Press. And that is like a medium, like charcoal gray with a little bit of ruby red and yellow spurts in it. And they're actually, they're coming out really nice too. Um, I'm very pleased with this color combo. It's hot. Yeah, it's that's a, no, I think I'm having a hot flash on top Ooh. of it being hot, so it's, yeah, double, uh... Double whammy. We should have brought, like, some cool, like, we should have had cold drinks. Yeah, instead of the We hot might take a break later. and get cold drinks. Um, and then my third color is that Sexy Librarian, that color that I'm, like, really, really into right now. And, um, that's, like, hot pinks and reds and oranges and a little bit of lavender and, oh my god, a lot of stuff in there, so... This is a new um, sock base. I'm going to talk about the update because it, it goes right in with that. This is a new sock base in my shop. And these uh, will be available today, which is Saturday. And I think this is probably going to air tomorrow, which is Sunday. So um, these colors are going to be readily available. I have them on sock bases. I have them on DK bases, worsted weight bases. I have a whole bunch. I have a single uh, ply. Uh, fingering weight base that this is going to be on so be ready be ready to come get these at lambsrings.etsy.com and um, I'm very I'm very pleased with the way that that's working up so there will be it'll be more next week more next week I have it in my you so and so um, handmade project bag uh, made by Sarah in Florida you so and so.com I know last week I like was going crazy over this I'm still in love with it and um, I still want more still want more of these. I can't wait. Gotta get my bags. I gotta get, I know, and there's one, she's got one on there right now that's like a, it's like a dark blue print with like all these little cameo in it, these like little cameo prints, and it's like a little girl in like a nice dress and she's wearing like a little cat mask. I F think I've seen that. It's yeah, effing it cute. I, I, I want, I'm gonna get it. My birthday's coming up, so I'm gonna get myself that. My birthday. My birthday. So yeah. My shawl, I did not get as much done. Mostly because um, I encountered a problem and I had to put it down. Ooh, no one. <laughs> I'm attacking you. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm only just a little past my third stripe. There we go. Isn't that nice? Oh, there we go. You can see oh, the yeah. little uh, eyelets in it. Doing this outside is working out really well yeah, for like waste like, projects. <laughs> it is. <laughs> right? It really shows the waste in it. <laughs> but um, love the two colors together. I think it's wonderful. It's Lolo did it yarn. And that's Coal Miner's Daughter and Mustard's Last Stand. It's her everyday sock. And um, this is the Aluna Shawl by Anthony Casalena. And I don't know what I did wrong. I, I'm i knitting a row currently. And I believe it's, it says I should be knitting along the right side. And I'm knitting on the wrong side. And... Everything I'm doing though adds up. I don't know, so I'm probably just gonna keep knitting. And if it's a short I run, run into, so yeah, if you I run into right problems, in. um, you showed them it. the front of the shawl, right? Yeah, I showed them the front. Can you show them? There's like a fleck of color back here. That's oh, on the, the back. Red. Yeah. There's like a, oh, it's so cool. Uh, I know. <laughs> One of the specks. It doesn't really show up in the front of it. It's got like a red. Can you see speck it? In it? And that is that's from the. Um, that's the mustard glass stand. Actually, you can probably Has like little, pull that to the front if you them. wanted it to be visible. Well, you could see. You can. You could probably. Can. You could probably it's like sometimes but that. You could see it a little thread. Um, not yeah. that good on here, but well, it does. Like throughout the skinny yarn, there are the red flecks in it, and it's cool. Yeah. But I think that's yeah the first. Really, I don't know. There's a little over here, but that was like super red. Yeah. It's cool. I really like that color combo a lot. Yeah, I do too. Um, in my, I was thinking about doing like some mini sets in the shop and I'd really love to do, um, like a neon green and yellow with gray and maybe like some blue. Yes. Color, uh, <laughs> you know, stripe. Yeah. yeah. Jamie says gray. yes. yes. <laughs> green? Yeah. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. You said green. I was like, yep. Yes. I think I might I do that like as a color I feel like gray goes good with a lot. Yeah. It's, well, gray. Gray's well, the best really color ever. I know. <laughs> You, you want to like do all these colorful projects, you know, like, and like I, since I die and I'm like, oh, you know, I have all these colorful yarns, but like for, I don't know, gray, gray is my girl, gray. or a boy, gray is my, I don't know, 
Gray's awesome. <laughs> Gray rocks. Oh, and this week, I should say, oh, yeah, don't forget your bag. City Stitcher bag, which I love. It. I still really love that bag. Pretty it's sure so she's huge. going on vacation for a little while. Well, it's not. <laughs> summer vacation. <laughs> Who needs vacations? summer vacation? Summertime. She's right in Pennsylvania, Stop. though, so nice and close to us. That's true. That's true. I know. My fiance uh, teaches uh, uh, middle school or is teaching middle school right now. So he's on summer vacation. He's, he's like, he was like, I'm going to have a beer at like 11 o'clock this morning. I'm like, hey, it's 11 o'clock. He's like, I'm on vacation. And he was like, I'm like, hey, stupid vacation. Listen, people, stop going on vacation. I want bags. I said this on the first episode. I think um, she's back by July 1st. It was a long oh, that's vacation. Not bad. All right. Yeah. All right. But, um, you look, all right. You guys can like take weekend vacations. Like you guys can go away for the weekend, but like no more than that. We have needs. They're like desperate needs for desperate product. Needs. Yeah. Desperate needs for products. Um, uh, my second whip, actually, um, I wanted to talk about the campside shawl that I talked about last week with Leslie Bellini's yarn, um, which was so cool and she's sophisticated. It's this. And actually, you know what? I was supposed to cake it while I was here. I was like, oh, I'll just cake it at Jamie's house or <laughs> her swift and everything is right there. And I forgot. Um, we, we played hangman with the kids instead, yeah. but, um, I'm going to do the campside shawl in this, uh, she's sophisticated by Leslie Bellini. She's on Etsy, uh, in the DK weight, superwash merino wool. Um, and I'm like overly excited about it. So I'm going to, I'm going to cast it on today. I think I have the, I have all my needles and stuff. It must so I'm going to cast done. it on today. It must be done. Yes. So that's not really a whip though. <laughs> um, what was my it's other whip? It's a soon to be whip. It's a soon to be whip. Oh, you know, I have. That was, you have any more whips? Watch me whip. I have, I have an, I have a whip that I started months ago, months and months ago. Um, and it is the incredible, can I get it out? Sorry, everything's in like a, everything's in like a plastic bag. It's all on the floor. This is, this is, I don't know what's going on here. I really here. like that color. Do you like this it. color? I do. All right. This is the Incredible Custom Fit Raglan by Pamela Costello. So basically, she just gives you a formula. You choose the yarn that you want to do, and I think, you, I think you'd have to do all your math by gauge. Um, she tells you uh, how, how big you want the neckline and to cast on how many stitches, and then from there, it's all math. So you would just, and everybody's coming out with like, you can make pullovers and... You can make um, cardigans. You can make anything. So I had um, this yarn by Miss Babs. What's on there? Oh. It, it was just stab. stab I was stabbing you. Okay. Oh. No, not me. Stabbing I was stabbing this water. Um, I have this colorway by Miss Babs. This is Miss Babs in her Yowza, which is a... She says it's a light worsted, but on size 8 needles, it's fine. For me, on size 8 needles, it's fine. I think it's like a regular worsted, but... Um, this colorway so is light. called Holy Calamity, and I got it at Rhinebeck 2015 last year. I waited online forever to buy her yarn, um, and I, I came out with um, the Holy Calamity. So it's a very strange colorway. It's like it's got teal and rust and pink and purple and black and brown. There's, everything is in here, but um, the the under color for the whole thing is like a sagey like zombie green right like a zombie green. like a i don't know what else to call it oh uh, almost yeah it's got like a lot of gray it's a gray green. green it's a very weird color so i, yeah. I and what happens i don't know whoever's been to rhinebeck i don't know miss babs um she sells on her website, but she does not sell through other stores. Um, she doesn't go through any retailers to do anything. Um, so if you can find her at a fiber fair, you need to go because she's got a lot of stuff um, that you need to feel and to see it in person. It makes a big difference. Um, so she was at Rhinebeck, and of course, you know, her booth. I'm going to bring my brass knuckles next time I go. Her booth is so crowded. Uh, in a good way, but I think I like, I crouched down, I got in her, finally got in her booth and I had crouched down to get something and somebody like, like 
I don't know, their pocketbook like it, right? Yeah, they, uh, their pocketbook like smacked me in the head, and I was like, oh my god, I could die, and I could die right here. I mean, I, I wouldn't mind it. I could, I could die right here, but I could have died right there. Um, some guy had to like extend his hand out so that like to help me like stand up. I couldn't believe it. It was crazy. It was crazy. Um, you know that episode of Friends where Monica needs to get her wedding dress, and they go to like that sale wedding dress, and they're like that. They have like their whistles. Right? And they're like fighting and stuff. It felt like that. It totally felt like that. So, I don't know if this was the color that like I really fell in love with, but like when you're in a situation like that, basically you just have to grab what you can or what you think you might like and, and run and get on the line and then take a look at it and hope you like it. Um, so I liked it. I liked it enough. I got two um, skeins of this and Yowza is huge. It's like 560 yards each. Uh, I mean, a pretty good price, too. Um, and so I came out with, with this colorway called Holy Calamity, which I can't find on her website anymore. So I don't, I don't know if it was like an... I don't know how she does it. It might have been like an oopsie color. Um, one other person got it. So there were three skeins of this, and I got two, and somebody else got one. Um, but this is how it's knitting up, which is really kind of... It's really not my thing normally, this kind of like drastic color changes, but it's interesting, and I like it. Um, it's a straight knit, um, so I think, I think it'll be good. Maybe I should try it on. I don't know. What I did with it, um, I want it to be like an open work cardigan, and I went through, I went back in and I picked up, um, along the edging, and I did linen stitch along the edging, which I thought would be really different and interesting, and it is kind of cool. Actually, I really like the way this is looking in the linen stitch. I like linen um, stitch. I, like I think it. I might like it in linen stitch more than I like it in um, the regular stitch. Okay, I'm going to get all tangled now. So it's going to have long sleeves. Oh, hello. It's going to have long sleeves. I did some short rows in the back, so the back is a little bit longer. Um, and I, maybe I'll go back in and put pockets, but um, it's coming out okay. It's a little big, which honestly I don't really think I'll I like mind big. it. It's a little big. big. Is nice. you right? Your oh. <laughs> it feels good. Um, her yarn is very, very soft, too. I don't know whatever base she's it's, using. It's, 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 it, um, it is very soft. So, like, let me see if I can so maneuver. Screaming. I'm going to maneuver like like it's done. Like, <laughs> that's what it's going to look like when it's done. Like, you can almost pretend that it's a whole cardigan right now. So, it's not too bad, actually. <laughs> so, anyway, I've been working on this forever, and it's, like, way too hot, I feel like, to work on this now. <laughs> but it's... now's the time to do all your warm weather projects, people, because... Oh, wait, you're sitting on the needle. I just don't oh. like to pull out. Sorry, whatever. Um, oh yeah, so um, so that was that was my um, my last whip. So hopefully that'll be done very, very soon. Because actually now that I, I now that I put it on, I'm like, oh, now I want to work on it. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's cold enough at night still where it is. you could wear it. It is. Even though it's summer. It's done. It, it's just the beginning of summer. We're sitting here. I'm sitting here like, ooh, it's so hot. I know. It, oh, it's, it's 77. It's 77, it's 77 degrees. Fahrenheit. Um, it's not that hot. It's not that hot. It's, it's been so much hotter than this, and we're complaining. Yeah. We're like, it's such beautiful out bitches. right now. Yeah, <laughs> we're yeah, such yeah. little bitches. <laughs> really go. It's hot. We're like, oh, it's hot. <laughs> now it's cold. How do you people survive? <laughs> Whatever. People we'll get in over Arizona it. Are like, it's one ten here. I know. Yeah, sorry, you guys. <laughs> First world problems. First world Long Island. Long Island. Um, will like. Long Island will be like 50 degrees one day, and then the next day it'll be like 80 degrees, and then the yeah. next day they're like, it might snow, we have a cold front coming, and Long Island's weird, <laughs> and like, everybody's getting the flu because the season has been so much like that. Um, it's evening out though, though. It's been 70s to eight, low 80s. It's, it's starting nice. to get warm all the time, sort of. And then cold at night, so. <laughs> um, okay. What's next? You want to do our finished objects? Yeah, let's do. Yeah, let's do some FOs. Jamie's got a few that. FOs today. I've got, I've got two. I. Oh, I have two too. All right. Well, whatever. We're even. <laughs> we were talking. Well, no, I was gonna have three, and I lost one. Oh yeah, Jamie lost. I have something. no idea. None. It's a shawl. <laughs> it's a shawl, and I have absolutely no idea where it is. It's beautiful. Take my word for it. I have looked everywhere. She did. Um, she did. asked my mom. I was like, is it at your house? I don't have it. <laughs> and it's recently, like, well, not, I mean, but it's, like, uh, what, 
the last thing you finished. Was it the last thing you finished? No. Uh, well, anyway, she lost it. We'll find it. I don't know what the last thing I finished was. Anyway. Anyway, what am I going to start with? Um, we have a lot of shawls for you today. <laughs> it's funny. A lot of finished shawls for you today. All of my shawls <laughs> are lambstrings yarn. <laughs> well, that I have. The one I lost. Yeah, boo -hoo. Okay. <laughs> The one I lost was made out of Cascade 220. It was the worsted weight. Um, of course you would lose the one that's not in my yard. The green one. Whatever. That's why. It's pretty. I so lost it because we'll, it's we'll not. look at it. So I have a shawl that's not in my yarn that I show them. Start with this oh, it is my yarn. This is your yarn. Oh, yours? <laughs> yours. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about Leslie's. Maybe I was thinking about Leslie's. You're funny. <laughs> right. So, this is um, Dangling Conversation by Mindy Ross. This is, uh, and it's got beads. It's got beads. It's got can beads. you see the beads? It's, uh, can you see the pretty beads? <laughs> Do you see? Oh, they are coming out. Nice. Yeah, I see them. Aww. So, it was my first beaded project, and I think this is only my second shawl that I made. My second shawl. Sure, really, I love the beads. And the beads were fun. The beads. I was scared of the beads, but the beads are fun. Bead things. <laughs> well, you know, it's you, fun. For some projects, you have to like pre-string the yarn. Oh yeah. Which is like I don't. I mean, that's horrible. This I did with the crochet this hook. Sounds horrible. Yeah, this yeah, was like the crochet hook. All right, the stitches on the needle. Then you had to. I don't How'd you do it? I don't remember. <laughs> oh, I remember. Okay, yes. so I got a really teeny crochet hook, the teeniest, tiniest one you can get, and I put it through. The bead and then just pull that stitch through and put it back on the yeah, needle to knit it. Yeah, like a uh, yeah. like a needle threader. Like you acted like a needle threader. Yeah, of? yeah, yeah. So easy, it was easy. and she just went it along and it was done. And this is really gorgeous. And your selection they're, of the beads—they're all along the edges. Nice. Oh, can you see? So it's dangling conversation, and I did it in lamb strings, Utopia fingering. Oh yeah, that's right. In Raven, the Raven colorway. Yeah, the Raven colorway it's is part of um, deep blues and like a little wind. bit of purpley hint in there. The wind is like really Blowing showing the, the and I really I love like the way shawls get like this coil. Yeah, I like the curly. Isn't that cool? It's like a curl. I think my fingering weight. I think I put that on hold, um, like as a discontinued any. yarn. But um, so. it, and it was easy. This pattern so easy. Yeah, you breeze right through this yeah. one. She did this one really fast. Um, yeah, the Utopia fingering, if you want it, it's like a very, it's a light fingering weight, um, twisted light fingering weight yarn. If you want it, message me or, um, contact me on Etsy and I, I can still get it for you. I just, don't, I won't have it in stock in the shop. Um, but the Raven colorway is part of an Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe series that I have, so, um. I feel like I can never wear shoals, right? But, <laughs> so I love, like with shoals, we, we make a lot, a lot of shawls because, you could see them and everything. Shawls are fun. Shawls are fun. Um, I was watching. I don't. I don't know how many. Oh, Stephen West has um, like ha, like a couple of videos on, and one of them is how to wear a shawl. And I think you showed me that. Yeah, I did we show you. I die. I was like, it was hysterical. He's like, I've got to watch it again because I like, don't know how to wear. He's a shawl, so funny. He's obviously. like, many people ask me how to wear a shawl. I don't know if you. I like. I don't want to bum everybody out with my Stephen West impression. And I don't want to insult him. <laughs> But, um, he's like, he takes it and he's like, he's like, here's the first way. And he like takes it and like, like throws it at himself. <laughs> like he just throws it at himself. And he's like, you're wearing a shawl. Like, <laughs> and he's like, and he just, he shows you a couple ways to wear a shawl. Actually, it's pretty um, informative because especially when shawls are, um, different shapes and stuff like that, it can get kind of confusing as to how they could be aesthetically pleasing other than just holding them up and going, ah, oh, this is beautiful, right? It was informative. Um, I always just kind of wear mine draped. I just I don't know. I don't I know. Just, I feel, I try and do that, like, to make it look artistic around my neck, and it just never works. I feel like it, that doesn't look good. <laughs> I don't know. I think, like, they look, they, I think they look good no matter what you do with them. Also, like, I don't know, we're like, like complain, um, but, like, I don't have, like, a really long neck. So when I wear a shawl, I feel like it's always, it always looks like I'm wearing a turtleneck, but I don't care. So put it over your head. Who cares? Put it around your waist. 
they're just fun to make. Just make, just, yeah, they're just fun to throw make. them it's at just... you the way Stephen West says to throw them at you, and, and boom, you're wearing a shawl, and it probably looks glorious. Um, you know. Looks it's glorious shawl. on him. It's, I, I do it. I, I'm like, I, I put effort into it. He's and so, I'm like, like uh, innovative and awesome. And can't do it. He could just, I don't know, he could really just, like, throw it on his face, and he's like, innovation! Yeah. And it will work. It will always work. You go next. You want we'll me to go, go next? Boom, boom. Yeah. I, like that boom, boom. All, I think <laughs> all of our shawls are in Lamb Springs yarn. Sorry, guys. We have more other yarn to show you that we're gonna work on stuff with later on. Um, this is this is my shawl um, that I finished recently. I didn't finish it this week. It's it's like uh, how do we like throw it like this, right? Yeah. It's pretty big. Um, this is my design, you guys. This is called the Proximity Shawl, and I knit it in Lamb Springs yarn, Sadie sock, uh, single ply. Um, yarn in well and, and my colorway which is the sprinkles on top which is this um light blue and pink purple oh, nature Na nature is happening <laughs> i know nature might nature might attack us um it's that lighter colored yarn so this is a striped shawl and then the darker colored yarn is the madeline tosh mm -hmm. merino light in um the colorway ink which is like a dark blue and we use like the same three. We just use the same three yarns. Or it will be for a little while until, you know, <laughs> we really start spending more money than we have. Yeah, until we have more money. Yeah. <laughs> so um, basically, the way the shawl is constructed um, is you knit one panel, the center panel, and then um, you have to be comfortable casting, uh, picking up stitches, because you're picking up a lot of stitches with this shawl. So it's knit in five pieces that are all kind of just knit in together. So. You knit the middle piece, and then you... Sorry, Jane, I know the shawl's really big, and I'm like just punching her in the face. Sorry. Um, you pick up stitches along the side, and then you knit it this way in stripes. And then you pick up stitches along this side, and you knit it this way. Then you pick up stitches along the bottom, and you knit it that way in stripes with some uh, German short rows I put in there, right? So I'm going to pull the Stephen West, right? You can scrunch it up and just go... <laughs> Look how wonderful you look. Actually, that doesn't look too bad. Now. Really? That. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. You just have to. You're look wearing a shawl, right, right? She's wearing a shawl. Um, you're wearing a shawl. That was totally. That was like that was bouncy too. I did like. <laughs> you're wearing a shawl. <laughs> um, so this and this shawl is pretty big and um, it's very soft and it's so cool. I don't know. I really like the way that this looks. I could be, I could be wearing it like a babushka, like my Nona used to. Like I'm a Polish. Like you want to have a babushka, you wear it like this. Or, you know, girl, you could just drape it. You could just throw it on you, right? This shawl, and, and you know what? All these, like, um, stripes that play against each other with, like, these little eyelets and stuff, it really kind of, like, it looks modern. It's like a modern, cool striped shawl, like, a, uh, like I don't know, like city modern. I don't know. It's my design, so I'm totally playing it up. But you can find this on Ravelry. Um, under Lambstring's uh, designs, and um, it is paid for pattern, but um, perhaps the pattern will be a free gift at some point to somebody for something. I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so this took like one ball of each. I had a little bit left, and um, it was a fun knit. I've had people test knit this, and they really enjoyed it. Uh, they said it was a very, very fun knit. Not too much thinking, um, but also um, not so you know boring that you want to that was my shawl. We're going to put all this stuff is going to go in the show notes. I'm going to put them at the bottom under here so you can just um, scroll down or I'm going to put them at, or, and I'm going to put them at the end. So you're one of us. Well, I'm going to forget how to say this. Don't forget. Joyeux. Oh, Joyeux, right? I don't know. I want you to say it. <laughs> Joyeux. Joyeux. It's the pattern name and we can't wear ha no, I think it's Joyeux. Show. Joyeux? All right, well, uh, let me show it. We looked it up on Google. We had Google, like, pronounce we it had, for us. Yeah, we had to watch a video on how to pronounce this. And we can't remember. And it didn't matter, because we can't remember anyway. It's French. It's French. So, this is my second FO, another shawl. This is And this is, so all right, sacred. I'm sorry if I cannot say this. The Joyeux... Yeah, it was like, il est joyeux. Right. Cholette. The joyeux. We're, uh, uh, joyeux. We're trying. We are trying. 
Um, so, and it is by Brenda Lavelle. This is really pretty. Um, put it in the sun so you can see the... What do you mean? Like, like, like in, here? Yeah, can like... We, can right? we, oh, like, so no, you can no. see the eyelets? Yeah, so you can see the eyelets. Or, well, the lace. The, the lace. lace pattern. This is very pretty. Thank you. I might want to make this. Well, I think I'm going to do it again. Um, I was talking to you when I did it, remember? Yes. And, um, okay, well, you could end with, like I did, because I didn't have enough yarn to do the other edging. There's two edgings. You could end like this with just oh, the, yeah, um, that's right. Yeah, what is it, garter stitch? Yeah. Yeah, she the did garter stitch, stitch edging. edging. Or they have a lace edging you could do, which is really pretty. I, this didn't come with enough yarn to do the lace edging, um, so I did the garter stitch edging. So I think I want to do it again and do a lace edged one. But can you really see? It's got like a wavy. You know, there we go. If, That's like, coming up. Can, good. Um, and the yarn um, is lamb strings. This is a Sadie sack. This is single ply yarn. Super wash. Yeah. Super Same wash one as this one. And Rubios. Rubios. Yeah. The story behind this. <laughs> people are like, uh, this color was Let's very see. popular when I first opened my shop. <laughs> I know. You're wearing a shawl. <laughs> I'm wearing a shawl. <laughs> Boom! You're wearing a shawl. <laughs> We should do a segment on like all the different like bizarre ways to wear a shawl. You can, you yeah, can just, like, tie it to, it to your leg. Um, th some th uh, several people have messaged me about how to like put, like what is this word rubios? Um, it's it's rooibos. It's not. It oh, is, but it's not. No, it's rubios. The way that I have it is rubios because that's the way I was saying it's Starbucks for years. Okay, nobody told me that I was pronouncing. Rooibos, wrong. Um, so I was ordering like vanilla Rubio's teas at Starbucks for years. So when I made this colorway, I was like, I really like that word for it, but like, it's Rubio's. Because nobody, nobody says it. I don't say it right. <laughs> anyway, it was a joke. Um, but people don't get it. <laughs> They're like, Aww. you spelled it wrong. Like, yeah, I did. I should call it Rubio's inten intentional. Rubio's. I don't know. Right. It was intentional. It's intentional. It's intentional. I'm not... Well, I was. Oh, also, but... I'm not anymore. When you made this colorway, I remember I've had this shawl in my favorites for a long time, and I wanted to do it in um, an orangey brown, like, yeah. fall colored... It just fell apart. And, um... <laughs> because it's pictured in that, and I thought it was really pretty. And then you made this right when you put it up. I was—I think I texted you. I want one. <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> yeah, I think it was the first one that you bought from me. Yeah. I think that was the uh, first one that Jamie... No. Yeah. This was... This, this came first. I made this first. Oh. Well, I was surprised when you chose that color. I was like, orange? We're not orange people. I feel like I don't no. give, we don't give, I don't give orange like a fair chance in my wardrobe. I like I haven't. See. I gotta add more orange to yeah, my wardrobe. I don't have any bright colors in my wardrobe. I know. I, I want to jump on the bright I'm color feeling. bandwagon. In that, um, in my three color cashmere shawl, that sexy librarian is probably the brightest color I've ever used. And there's some orange in there. So I guess I'm giving it a fair chance. I'm really excited about that. Well, I like autumn's my favorite season. I yeah. like fall colors. And this, it's not just orange, and it's not like super bright orange. It's yeah, like it's the, like a nice... It's like the autumn. Pumpkin. It reminds me of autumn. Yeah, like a pumpkin. And fall time, and that's my favorite season, and I loved it. I have to make more of I this I did. Color. It was seriously right when you put it on. I was looking... You must have posted it on Facebook or something, and I texted you right. I was like, Shanna, I want that right now. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> I'll just take it out of the shop. <laughs> I guess I'll just deactivate the listing. No big deal. I don't mind doing it. No, because um, didn't you tell me someone else had wanted it and I bought it right before them? Yes, that's <laughs> right. Somebody else was asking for it and I was like, oh, I just took it out of the shop. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> You're a sore winner. Um, it's just, and it's I should say, too, colorway. this colorway... It's um, like I always put it on the side. Like, look, it doesn't I know, work. It's I know. And I, I, uh, you pointed that out to me last time. So, yeah. So... That colorway actually is, um, not many people know this with indie dyers, but um, when you make a colorway, it looks different on all different bases. Like, that, it's not like incredibly different, like orange doesn't look like black, but um, it's not, like one color, like this came out pretty bright, and then I put the same color on my 100% um, wool base, non-superwash wool, and it really like pulled out, there's like a teeny bit of like a green tint in this in some of the areas and it like sucked that in like that green right away so I just thought that was really interesting this is one of those colorways that just looks different on all the bases like if you like it in a certain color you have to buy it on that base um so sometimes they do that oh are they home 
No, he's telling me how much he spent. Oh, for that tree? All right. <laughs> Sorry. Jamie's husband and my fiance are with the kids. Uh, they're buying a tree yes. to plant. Trees are expensive, you guys. Yeah. Just plant the seed. <laughs> nice response. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> so, what else? That's all I have. That's, That's all you have? I'm done with my FOs. Not me! I finished, um... You did this quick. I did! I, I like. really wanted to, because I was like... I really had a lot of fun with this pattern, so I'm like really excited to keep going with that um, shawl, too. But I knitted... Last week I was working on Hohi Locatelli's Three Color Cashmere Cowl in um, my yarns and Miss Fab's yarns, and I finished it. So, I finished it. I love how long it looks. It's like a oh, sleeve. It's this like is a... long. <laughs> right? And I said the same when I was complaining about like not having a long neck. I said the same thing to Seth at home. I put it on and it scrunches up. like, <laughs> And I was like, I don't have a long enough neck for this, all this beautiful stuff, but... Um, I'm so, I'm really excited that I finished it. It's like maneuvering it so that you can see everything is kind of difficult because I don't have a long neck. So, and I'll show you guys what I did with the mods in, in a minute. But in all of her uh, photos, they do it like this. They, get, they do the photo like this. <laughs> right? So this is what it looks like. This is what the photo is going to look like. I look like. I look like one of those like inflatable tube men. <laughs> Um, <laughs> wacky inflatable flailing tube man. Oh. Oh, you guys watch Family Guy. Um, anyway, so the yarn that I used again it was Lambstrings yarn for the bottom in the Utopia sock base, which is 100% superwash merino wool, fingering weight in the cobblestone way colorway. Uh, I did twisted rib at the bottom. I think I forgot to say that the last time. It calls for a regular one by one rib, but I just like the look of a twisted rib. It looks like a little, it like pops out more. Fancy. It's fancy. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> and then the second color was Miss Babs in the two ply toes in the lurch colorway, which is an awesome colorway. It doesn't look like, I mean, it just looks like a dark brownish purple, but like, you guys, that's like the like most awesome non black, like dark color neutral. Um, if you don't have it, you should totally get that colorway because it's worth it. And then it is the Utopia Sock, um, Lambstrings Utopia Sock base again in the Annabelle Lee colorway, which I had ripped out from a previous project to make this one so that you could really see how the color looks. And I'm, if I don't toot my own horn, I'm so glad that I did because this color is so nice. Ooh. Ah. Right? I love this colorway and it marbled which was really cool um so what had happened with um this miss fab's yummy two ply um it's 133 yards they're like these mini skeins and when i bought them at rhinebeck i had another plan for it um and then it it just looked like nice with this so i just figured i'd put it in but i knew i was going to run out before i was done so I kind of like started to make up for it early. I knew early that I was going to run out. So I put um, my color C in this stripe and in this stripe. And then I put color C. It's hard to see it. It's very subtle. It's hard to see it. But I put color C on this stripe. Ooh, the wind. And then, thanks, Jane. I put it on stripe number five. And then stripe number seven is the Annabelle Lee. And then I did, the, you know, the knit here. And then I went into the lace, which... I mean, this pattern is so genius and such a pleasure to knit it. Um, I put it, I, I again put it in the middle stripe here, and then I did my ribbing with it. So, and I, I, I know I should show you, um, talk about playing yarn chicken, right? Let me see if I could find it. Actually, I have a ton left. It, like, I think I used like 55% of the steam when I weighed it, um, the numbers came out to about 55%. So I have like 45% of a 100 gram skein left. But um, <laughs> this is this is what's left. So I'm so glad that I started. Like, I'm so glad that I knew it was going to happen. Um, but this is what's left of the 133 yards. So thank God I played Yarn Chicken and I won. Yay, go me! 
yarn chicken. Yarn chicken. I'm not a yarn chicken well, it's loser. It's like this one. I was yarn chicken. She had like this much <laughs> yeah, I remember she showed me. She was like, what do I do? I was like, just cast off. <laughs> You'll be alright. Just cast off. Yeah, that's right. I think I cast off like a few rows early. A few rows early. Yeah, yeah. but it still looks great. Yeah, you can't um, tell. Yeah, you can't tell. I fudged it. Yeah, and you know, you can even like next time if you run out of yarn, like with the shawls and stuff like that, you can always do like a contrasting color with like the cast off edging or um, like with the last little lace edging if you're running out of yarn. Yeah. Why not? It's your shawl. Do whatever you yeah. want to do. Exactly. But yeah, so I am, it's so hot. It's so hot. I want to enjoy this, but it's so hot. But I'm very, very pleased with this. And the three color cashmere shawl is constructed the same way. So you start with this with um, the striping and with the eyelet patterns and then you do the striping and then you do a block of color and then you do um, the lace and then you cast off with a different color. It's the I really same design. One of those. I love it. I'm, I'm, I'm very very happy with um, Hohe's patterns. Like if you haven't done a Hohe pattern I know I'm jumping on the bandwagon but you really should you need to get um, jump on that bandwagon. Jump on that. <laughs> I said that wrong. Bag wa bandwagon. Bandwagon. <laughs> you can jump on a bag wagon if you want. Bandwagon. <laughs> You're like jump on that bag wagon. <laughs> bag wagon. <laughs> get bag wagon. Jump on that bag wagon. <laughs> um, you should. You should jump on it because, and you should get the the shawl and the cowl because you get twenty five percent off of the second one that you buy if you bought the first one already. And both are beautiful. And both are beautiful. And knitting a giant cowl like this and a sock weight yarn was such a pleasure. And it's just so nice. And I do want to wear it, but I really, it's effing hot. Effing hot. The way I said that. <laughs> I don't like I'm very nasally on this. No, I don't think so. You oh. think, what? You know what I wanted to, you know what I wanted to say? Um, for all of you people who live on Long Island or are from Long Island, um, I so appreciate that you guys don't mind the accent. Because I never really realized that we have an accent until Do I watched anyone? it. Somebody was like, oh, I forget who, and they were so very sweet. And she was like, it brings me back, because she was, I guess, used to live here and doesn't anymore. But she was like, my, uh, what'd she say? She was like, my native language. I was like, but when I watched it, you can really hear like a Long Island accent. It's really strong. It is with me. You're not so bad. No? I don't think so. I don't so. know. Like, I know we say coffee weird. Coffee, Long Everyone Island. Everyone else says what? Coffee? Coffee? Coffee. Is that it? Coffee is... It sounds weird. And we say coffee. It feels weird to say like coffee and... Coffee. Yeah. Wait, coffee. I don't know. So thanks for, um, you know, bearing with that because it's <laughs> a lot stronger than I thought it was. Uh, I don't Sorry. think we're too bad. I don't know. We don't think that we're that bad. <laughs> I don't know. And, you know, I make fun well, of people. because we live here and everyone talks like this, so. Uh, I make fun of people with, like, a heavy Brooklyn accent or, like, um, sorry, guys, I know. I don't want to be insulting, but, like, uh, New Jersey and, like, Brooklyn, like, it's, like, really like this. And you get nasally when you do it. I get nasally when I, do the, <laughs> when I have to do the accent and, like, get like that. You sound like, um, oh, shoot, what's Chandler's girlfriend's name? What was her name? Um, um, Janice! Janice! Yeah. Chandler! <laughs> I hope that we don't sound like Janice to you guys. <laughs> Chandler! Chandler! Because we don't, we don't, it, that might have sounded like Janice. <laughs> Sorry. Apologies. <laughs> Apologies. No, um, you don't sound these way. I don't I think hope you not. Do. I hope not. Anyway, those are all of my FOs. I'm, I can't wait. I'm so excited to wear this. This is, I'm very excited to wear this. I want to wear it. I want to make it. <laughs> make it. <laughs> and it you should it. make it. And I and I breezed right through it. Jamie is right. I in one week. I think in two weeks it was done. I have to finish um, the shawl. Maybe after I finish the shawl. Yeah, but I was having so much fun knitting it. It was like right, right, right before you get um, bored with a section, you have to change a section to something else. So That's it was really nice. yeah, it was really nice. And her she was flawless. Uh, her pattern was written flawlessly. Um, what's next? Maybe I've got um, an in the future. In 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 the fu in the. F <laughs> I wrote it in the future. Did you no, write in? Me. Did you write in the future? In the she future. did. In <laughs> da d a future. In the future. In the future. It's what did we get? What are we gonna do with the stuff that we got? See, but mine's more of the same. Haha. <laughs> First stuff is the same stuff, which is fine. I've got more. I bought this. 
<laughs> I bought this shit. More <laughs> shit, lamb, I bought. shit I bought. I bought more lamb strings. CD sock. And I'm gonna take this off, so... Yeah, slip that right off. It's... What color is it? Cassiopeia. You know the there we go. It's Cassiopeia. It's like, you're sitting right there. Why am I even looking? I should have been like, Shanna! <laughs> <laughs> so. I know. What that? <laughs> Is it showing up good? I want to make something with this color, right? It's greens and like lots of different kinds of greens. There's a hint of yellow in there, purples. Yeah, there's grays. purple in there. And like a navy purple, which was a, can we, can we a nice surprise. I don't know. You don't know what? Know Everybody goes like good. this. I've been watching podcasts. Everybody goes like this Why? so that the camera focuses or it like adjusts I the think light. The camera focuses pretty good. Oops. I don't know. There we go. I'm trying to show it. It Let's, looks, to me, it looks a lot prettier, yeah, like, I as know. I'm looking at it, than it does on the thing, but I love it. I love it. I'm glad it you love it. It is beautiful. And, oops, what am I doing? But I'm going to make, um, oh, here's another one I didn't know how to say. It, the Brilther Hat by Janina ba Baker. Uh, it's I German. It it's we German. I think it's Baker. We were in the house and we were like, Baker. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, it's Baker. You know, I should have just asked Ron. He's Good German. Word. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why. German, I guess. But it's beaded. It's a beaded hat, and it looks so I cool. I'm gonna make Shannon insert a picture of it. Yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's really cool. So that will be a project that I'm gonna do in the future. I don't have the right needle sizes. I need to buy the needles. And that's, it's for this project that I'm like, do I want to get Chai Gows or do I want to get Addy yes. Sock Rockets? Do you want to get Chai Gows? Oh! <laughs> yeah. So I'm, I have to look online and... We would love to hear your guys' thoughts about um, Which is, what kind of needles you like to use. Yeah. Um, I asked uh, some people on a Facebook group because I was going to get the Addy Turbos. and uh, But then I, everybody's been using the Chai Gows, so I was like, oh, maybe I want those. And... Um, Almost unanimously, people were like, get the Chai Gals, whatever. And then I was watching Legacy Knits, and I think Chelsea was saying that she didn't like the Chai Gals, that, or it was either Chelsea or Susan, I don't remember, but um, that the cable needle was kind of stiff. And well, I was like, yeah, ah. I don't like that. But, well, so I'll get them, we'll see what happens. I think, like, you can put them in, like, war like a bath of warm water to, like, soften them a little bit, I've heard. So that I'm going to try sense. that. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to try that. But um, you should get one, and I should get the other, and then we should see. Yeah. We can do Why that. not? And we'll just let them each other borrow. Who cares? We'll let each other borrow stuff. Yeah. So that's all I had for things I bought and, like, things I'm planning on doing in the future. Yeah. I'm excited to see how that works out, too. beautiful yarn. Somebody else bought um, the DK in the Cassiopeia, and they were working on a shawl. and It's really, it's bugging me because it's, it's not out coming out. It's pretty, oh, that's kind of getting the bright greens in there. Yeah. You guys, if you you guys it. can see it on um, my Etsy, yeah, on Landstrings.etsy. So, um, I have, and I, you know what, I have more. I do have like a, a few things, but actually, I have more than a few things. Um, my next project is going to be, I, and I don't know if I'm saying this right either. It's the Riki hat. Riki hat. We don't know how to pronounce anything. We don't know how to pronounce we're, we're... anything. Anything. I'll put a picture up. Um, but while I was at Ryan Beck, of course, when you go to Miss Babs and you're just grabbing everything that you possibly can, you do just grab everything. Um, and you wait, I, oh my God, I was waiting on the line to pay for like an hour, but my mom was with me. She went to get coffee and I was like making friends with the people who were online and, um, you get all the way up to the front of the line and there's Miss Babs. And she's just standing there, and she's like, you can go to register, too. Oh, you can you can go to this register. I was so like, like, oh, Miss Babs, talk to me. <laughs> you know, like, it was crazy. Did um, you see the yarn harlot there, too? I did. <laughs> I, saw Stephanie, I saw Stephanie McPhee while I was at Miss Babs. And I forget what I said. I had, like, I don't know. I was talking to nobody. I was like, oh, the line is so long. And somebody poked their head up out of this like crowd and they were like it really is and I look over and I was like oh, that was Stephanie McPhee and she talked to me I texted I texted you like I was right like the other girl just right. talked to me <laughs> starstruck starstruck it was um fangirl starstruck anyway I got all the way up to the front of the line 
and Miss Babs herself was wearing one of her sample shawls. Sorry. And it was it was beautiful. It was absolutely beautiful. And of course, it was a color that I didn't have in my hands. So I had to go. I like went to the register and I was like, I need somebody to get me this colorway. And I did not care what yarn it was out of. I was like, just get me something I can make something with. So um, they got me the. It's it's called Volcanic Eruption. It's like. Orange, again, I think like I'm having a love affair with the oranges. I said I wasn't, but apparently I am. Um, I don't even know how to describe this colorway without thinking it's hard. Like it's browns and maroons. Burgundies. And like there is like some charcoal in here. Um, pink. There's a little bit of pink. There's a little bit of pink in there. There's something that like translates as like a brownish green. It's complicated. It's awesome. Um, I'm very, very very into this colorway and I'm really PO'd that I didn't just like ask them to get me like fingering weight yarn in this. So I'm going to buy this again, I think, even like without even using it. I'm like, I'm going to buy it again. Um, but this colorway is like, it's nice. Um, but it's in the Kowei, Kowei yarn uh, DK base. It's 100% superwash merino. Um, it's a little rough, but that's okay. Um, Oh, yeah, it is. Right? It's a little... I think maybe it might just be, like, twisted tight, but who knows. Um, whatever. It was worth it. I don't care. I'm going to get the color. This is really, really nice. The, um, the Reiki hat, Reiki hat, is all garter stitch. So I might play around with that a little bit. Um, for variation, I might put some, like, textured stitches in there. But I'm really looking forward to show, showcasing the colorway. Um, I'm really excited about that. And... So that's going to be my next one. That's going to be my next hat. I've got a lot. I've got a couple of things to talk about. Talk about them. All right. I'm done. I, I didn't have much this. I need to buy more. Remember last week uh, when I said Jamie uh, designed a hat, right? I said I was going to make... They still need to write up. Uh, they still need to write up. This. So Sh Shannon mentioned <laughs> that we should... um That people have done when they... Either they have a new colorway or they need a name for a pattern. Um, you know, seeing what what people suggest. And um, so I think we're going to do that with this, this hat. And it's going to be a giveaway. Um, giveaway! I, I don't know what to name it. I don't. Um, I'm not good with things like that. So if anyone has a good suggestion, I will give you the pattern for free if we pick it. If you pick the name, <laughs> that's our giveaway. So, um... Again, we're going to put in the show notes when we start this Ravelry group. I think we should do it as a thread through the Ravelry group yeah. that we... Yeah, we will get it set up in the Ravelry so group. So just name it. Name the hat. You name the hat. Jamie likes the name. You get the hat for How free. How long should we give? Oh, I, I don't know. That's your choice. I don't know. That's your choice. Well, we'll see if anyone does it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess we'll, we'll just see... Um, we'll leave the thread open. Yeah. And um, possibly two weeks. Well, when I get it covered. When you get it Maybe. published? When I get it published. I've got to write it up, and then I've got to... I don't have a PayPal account or anything. I've got to set that all up. All right, so... So, I'll... We'll announce it, but that's the plan for the giveaway. For... Tentative two weeks. Giveaway. Tentative... Tentative. As tentative soon as the pattern weeks. is up, tentative two weeks. Yeah. Okay? And, um... So, yeah, so you will get this hat pattern for free. And, speaking of how much... And I'm telling you, the pattern, the hat is awesome. I did... I bought yarn to make another one. <laughs> I bought yarn to make it again. Um, so I bought the Quince & Co. in the regular Owl, not Owl Tweet, which is um, basically the same thing. It's just not yeah, a tweed version one's a tweed, one's in the um, cement colorway. So and oh, you'll be doing the first one then and not a tweed. In the, the first one. In the, oh, yeah, because your mom out. made one, right? Yeah, in tweed. In, in the, the tweed. Owl Tweet. I mean, it's the same basic It is. Base. It's the same yarn, just yeah. no tweed. Yeah. So I think that this <laughs> one, and I'm, you know, gray, hello. Um... So this will match a lot too. So I think this is just the I think this is just the right kind of yarn to do it in. This yeah. this hat it works it really looks really good gorgeous. The so guys, start thinking about a name for this. Yes, help me. <laughs> help. Not that you need a ton of help, but that's fun, right? I have so much stuff. All right, I'm gonna keep going. You guys are gonna get tired of me. You guys will get tired of me yet. Um, I also bought along with um, my Quince and Co. Owl. I bought um, a whole bunch of, well, a whole bunch. I bought five skeins of Quince & Co. Lark in the Damson colorway, which is, I this color? I like that color. Like, I'm really excited about this color. I, 
really excited about this color. It's like a brownish purple. I don't even know how to it, describe it. Like, like a, a purple. Like, like a raisin. Like a, like a light raisin. Like a thick, yeah. like a like a light raisin or a dark a fig or, or whatever yeah. fruit you prefer uh, <laughs> that is in this color that you want to call it. Um, Kristen from Volen Vine. Hi, Kristen. From <laughs> Volen Vine. Um, I missed your update today, so I'm going to send you a message. I hope you watch this. I need yarn. She had an update. I watched her podcast yesterday, and she had an update today at 10 a.m. At 10.30, I looked at the clock, and I was like, holy profanity i missed the update <laughs> holy profanity holy profanity insert profanity here um i missed the update so i went on because i was like it's been a half an hour gone the whole update she sold everything I, i'm like i can't believe it anyway i have to i need her narwhal base it's really nice Kristen from volenvine did her stone cutter uh pullover in this colorway and i can't remember if it was the same yarn base but it was this colorway um because she likes all the same colors that I like. So, of course, I saw it and I was like, I need it. I need this. So, it jump-started me into um, wanting to make the Chuck pullover, which is a... Chuck? Chuck's been around. I think Chuck... I can't remember when, when it came out. But out of nowhere, I started seeing this Chuck cropped pullover on Instagram like crazy. And I just fell in love with it. It's a cabled pullover that's cropped up to here mm -hmm. and it's got like three quarter sleeve sleeves and um the possibilities to pair it with like all sorts of different styles like clothing styles was endless i've seen people wear it like all different ways um i'm gonna have to look it up yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna put the photo also um but i'll show you afterwards it's really like a very like quaint looking little pullover um, so I'm really excited about that, and I'm really excited about it in this in this colorway. My God, this is my color. I can't wait. So and and but, but this isn't super wash, so I'm gonna have to hand wash it all the time. So hopefully I like it. So I'll take really good care of it. But I'm really <laughs> that was my um, squishy nail. That was my squishy, squishy nail. Um, and we'll keep you updated on that. Um, I. I've got something to talk about. Oh. Let Let's me, give her something to talk about. <laughs> How about... Snitch markers! <laughs> <laughs> I've got to take them out. You can't see them that good in the bag. And I'm actually using one. So it comes in sets of five. So there's only four on here right now. It's an amazing one. But... Can you see my little... Is that cool? My little snitch marker to snitch That's me awesome. Up. I'm such a Harry Potter How nerd. cool is that? How many of those did you get? Like, how many of those came... <laughs> Pow! <laughs> five. It's a set of five, set of five. for $10. And this is... Um, that's worth it. Bijou. There, that's another word we had to look up. We had to look up how to pronounce this. It's from Bijou Garden Gifts on Etsy. Can I just tell you that Jamie spelled it out phonetically so that yes, she's excited for you guys? Bijou! 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 With, like, so. six of um, anyway, I love them. I, I when I got them in the mail, I freaked out. Ron was laughing at me. So <laughs> he's like, "You're such a nerd." I was like, "I know." I am. Ron um, is like a cigar nut. So when yeah. Ron spends money on cigars, Jamie spends money. Jamie on says things. spends the equal amount on the jarns. <laughs> so hey, it's uh, it's fair. <laughs> it's fair. It's pretty fair. Um, I just buy stuff and I don't tell Seth anything. Because he don't care. He's like, whatever, it's your money. I'm like, well, okay, but we can't go food shopping this week. <laughs> I bought yarn so you get no food. Who needs to eat? Nobody. Overrated. Eat this. <laughs> so, yeah. So, it's Bijou. It's, I know, it's somebody Bijou. was saying that... Um, B-I-J-O-U-X. B-I-J-O-U-X. Bijou. All the show notes are going to be underneath us. Um... I can't, I can't put them at the bottom. Not with what I have. Um, the setup that I have. So, um, they'll be there. And if, like, seriously, if you have any questions, if you're thinking about it, you have me on Facebook, just message me and I'll let you know anyway. Um, yeah, I like those stitch markers. They're awesome. They are awesome. <laughs> and I'm not really a Harry Potter yeah, person. You don't, did you watch any of these? I've seen all the movies. Oh, I've seen all the okay, Harry Potter movies. Um, who's the guy that got hot? 
The little like Neville. <laughs> oh, um, what's his name? Hi, Neville. <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> what the hell is his name? I watched it. I watched it just enough to know that like the, uh, the guy that played Neville. Neville got yeah. sexy. Neville. Neville got sexy. Neville got sexy. Hi, yeah. Neville. <laughs> Maybe he knits me so watching. I'll, I'll, knit, I'll knit something for you. <laughs> anyway. Um, I'll remember his name at some point. But it doesn't matter. Neville. Neville. <laughs> I have a couple of, like, random things that I wanted to talk about. Well, it's not, well, it's not random, the random. stitch markers were random. No, it's not random. I had stitch markers last week. But they all go with knitting. This week, um... I want to show you guys some buttons. I feel like I never see buttons, um, and I have a lot of buttons that I wanna that I wanna talk about. Um, so my first set of two sets of buttons are from um, Not So Shabby Chic, and her name is Rebecca Johnson. And I'm gonna put the cards up because I had to look at it real quick. So I'm gonna put the card up. This is the Not So Shabby Chic um, Etsy shop, and you guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take all these out, and then I'm going to show the other ones are still kind of in plastic. They're all these, like, fabric buttons, and you... Oh, it's a kitty. It's my kitty! I have a black cat named Luna, and um, it's my kitty. So I had to get these, and i don't, I got to find one that, ha that shows it the best. This is a kitty print button with music notes, which was, like, so me and Seth. Seth teaches music. Um, and I just had to have a set of these buttons... And they're all a little different. I think there's like two of a kind in each one. But like, look at like this, this cat, right? How cute. How cute, how cute. I, these are the types of buttons and things that I buy um, when I have no idea what the heck I'm going to do with them, but they're going to do something. Actually, I should put one on the Riki hat. Like as a... Little design. Element. Right? Where's the button that I like the most? I have to find it. Uh, this one's sitting on his butt. <laughs> She's little legs underneath. Oh my god. This is like the cutest <laughs> thing ever. Your eyes, you were just like. Because ah, they need this. This one. This one's showing us his butt. That's my butt. So, but like. Right? Like one. That looks nice. It looks okay, right? Yeah. One button on the Riki hat. Um, just like in the corner. Might be kind of cute. Like a cute little addition, right? So I think I'll do that. Um. I saw the, and I had, of course, I had to get these. I'm not going to take these ones out because they're all, the, the back ones are the same. But these, like, red ones with these little bunnies on them. Oh, look at this bunny button. Look at bunny butt. This one's upside down. They're, they're really, really cute. And, um, you know, like, I'm going to use them randomly throughout for projects and stuff. Um, but they're really cute for, like, babies' clothes, I think. Like she's uh, she yeah, little kids clothes. So. She's got tons, like so many. She had one with like those little nesting dolls, like those. Yeah. Are, she's got tons of them, and they're really really cute. And um, I'm excited. Actually, this might look good on the. All right, I I can't. I'll figure it out. We'll figure it. out. <laughs> but I'm gonna put. I have to put them on everything. So, um, Rebecca Johnson, your buttons are freaking adorable. Go see her on Etsy. Um, and again, great price for the amount that you get. Totally worth it. Um. And then my, I'm going to move on to my button obsession. I remember when I showed you these, I was like, oh my god. Okay. So, awesome. there is a girl on my, uh, in my Facebook, my knitting Facebook. Actually, she's one of the admins. Marina Rabinskaya, I think, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, she does these, like, giant, well, she can do them in a couple of sizes. Um, but she does wood burning. And her stuff is so unique and so cool. And you can find her shop. It's a sheep in the woods on Etsy. I, I can't get enough of these buttons. And I don't know what I'm going to do with them. But it needs to be something spectacular. You get, I think they all come like a set of two. Um, but I saw these on my Facebook page. And I, again, same thing. Like, I didn't think. I just was like, cart, purchase. Like, like take, take my money. Like, just take my money. These pandas with... I just spit. I hope, I, I hope nobody saw that. I'll have to check. These pandas with guns? Oh my god. You guys! I need, They need to be on it. And they're huge. They're yeah, huge. huge. But Or like on like gloves. And they could be like on gloves or something. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I feel like I 
want to just, I'm going to sew them to myself. <laughs> like, boom, done. Sew them to yourself. It's over. These are the coolest things. She's got so many really unique and well thought designs. I saw one on Facebook this morning that was like the cartoon Beetlejuice. Yeah, like, I cartoon Beetlejuice. And I, I almost jumped on that too. I, I have to like, I have to like scale it back, my spending. Um, but she is awesome. She's super nice. She can do them in different sizes. Um, but I think, I think she was saying the smaller they get, the less detail you're going to get in there. She had some with like Professor Snape, uh, his face. Alan Rickman. Um, <laughs> there, there were like endless, she has dogs and horses. And I, there was like a little, like one that looked like Alice in Wonderland to me, like a little girl cameo in the woods with, she's super, super talented. Please, please go see her shop and um, buy her stuff because it's just totally amazing. Um, Maria, uh, Marina, if you're watching, um, if you, I don't know what the wood is. Um, I'm sure it says it in her shop, but um, I don't know what kind of wood this is, but these are just, look at the sides. It's like, just she just like cuts the wood and, and does it and there's, it looks like they're finished. I mean, obviously they're finished. Um, so, so cool. If you're looking for unique buttons, go see her. Um, a Sheep in the Woods on Etsy and Not So Shabby Sheep have awesome buttons if you're looking for them. So as soon as I put them on something, um, I will bring that something and um, show you how they look because those were just out of control. Like pandas with the... With <laughs> I know, I can see you just being like... I did. I was like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> it, like I needed them. I absolutely needed them. Don't know for what, but who cares? For something. Um, that's all the stuff that I have. Oh, it's I all really exciting thing, stuff. Oh, you do? Things, these. Oh, good, good. Uh, good. So Ooh, I made these because I wanted something like, all right, my nerd is going to come out. <laughs> the nerd. <laughs> the nerd is going to come out a little. Um, again, another Harry Potter thing. I was trying to look for like, you know, like House Pride stitch markers. Um, <laughs> all right, what house are you? <laughs> Ravenclaw. We were supposed to do my house. We'll do it after this. Next week we'll have an we're update gonna on what We're going to find out what house. Shanna's house is. Um, I'm going to be right, slithered because so, I'm right, nasty. Pretty much everyone knows. Well, almost everyone. Erin doesn't know Harry Potter. She was over last night. What? She, she, she watched maybe the first movie and read the first book and hasn't gone beyond that. All right. Well, so she, I guess she knows a little bit. All right. She knows the houses. In case you don't know, there are four houses in like Hogwarts. You could be Slytherin, uh, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, or Gryffindor. I am a Ravenclaw. And... I've been looking for <laughs> stitch markers, like house price stitch markers, and there were some, and I wasn't that crazy about them. You know, they weren't quite my style, so I wanted to make some stitch markers, you know, of my house colors, and I bought these little, oh, all right, we're going to add them to the show notes because I know I have her card, but I bought these off of Etsy from one of, you know, there's so many people who sell, like, the I charms know. and everything. And, you know, we have so many products in front of us, and, like, we yeah. have names and stuff, and it's everywhere. I but, completely like, we, forgot oh to write this down, but anyway, so those like little it. owl charms, and I wanted to make stitch marker sets with That's really um, cool. the colors, so I don't know... This is a dark blue. I don't know how well it's coming out, but that's the blue one. And I don't know if this helps, guys. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like the Ravenclaw colors, and are bronze those, um, and uh, blue. Are those... So. Um, I made these. I might put them... I might get an Etsy, Etsy shop going, and I might put them on. But, I think you should. So like, this would be like, you know, your beginning of brown marker. Because I think these would sell. And, and then these are the four. And, and you could probably do like, um, like a cat also, and like a rat. Because, you know, I mean, if you know what house, Correct. you should find out what house you're from and then Wait. find out whatever your creature is. What does that mean? Rat right, isn't the creatures. What is it? <laughs> um, well, I've Huffle seen Puff movies. is a badger. No, 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 no. I mean, like, um, the, uh, like, like, Harry Potter has a, an owl. He has an owl. And but then, they like, use owls. Well, owls deliver their Why mouth. does Ron have a rat? Because that's his pet. Your pet? That's his pet. Don't they all have pets? Not, not all of them, no. Uh. Like the three, Ron, um, Hermione, you guys, and you, you, hardcore fans are like, yeah, <laughs> what the hell is wrong Ron with you? and Hermione and Harry all had pets. Hermione had a cat, um, and Harry had his owl, and Ron had his rat, oh. who turned out to be um, Peter Pettigrew. Do you remember that? I do remember that. <laughs> I do. I remember. So this is the Slytherin. <laughs> Again, I'm probably yeah. I'm like curious now. If I get, I, I don't know. If I get Hufflepuff, I'm gonna be like. 
it's like Hufflepuff. 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 I thought I was going to be a Hufflepuff. I was really surprised. Because you're sweet. Because I'm sweet. Because you're sweet. Yeah. Like, I knew. I knew I wasn't going to be Gryffindor, and I knew I wasn't going to be Slytherin. Um, and I saw Ravenclaw. I was like, no way. No way in hell. I'm going to be a Hufflepuff. <laughs> and I was surprised. Which one is this one? This the... I don't know. Is this Hufflepuff? <laughs> no, no, we Hufflepuff's yellow. I'm wrong. That's, that's I had two Gryffindor. guesses. I had two choices and I was wrong. That's Gryffindor's colors. Oh yeah, that's right. Gold that makes and sense. Red, the uh, golden, scarlet. the golden, or whatever. She says, she says scarlet. Um, are these and then um this is yellow Swarovski black. crystals? Yeah, they're Swarovski, they're Swarovski crystals. I knew it. Which you can't really get in stores anymore. I had to buy them online. Yeah, we have, we the craft store that I work for, we have so, some, but the selection has dwindled yeah, like badly. I remember years ago. Yeah, they're a little more on the expensive side. Yeah. They're not terrible. No, they're not terrible. Oh, and then I made expensive. this is just a random little stitch marker I made. I like that one. It's a little star. It's a little star with a little one. star. No, I don't want to oh, take there them. There we one. go. Look at the little I star. Have more than one made. Oh, I want one. Yeah. She said, here. Ah, Jamie's gifting. I'm like, <laughs> I, am I, gifting her. I must look like horrible to these people. I'm like, I want that. <laughs> oh, all right, here. Thanks. That's not what just happened. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, that's so I'm glad cute. you like it. I do like it. I'm like, I'm like, what project am I going to start so I can put this so on yeah, there? We're going to find out what house it's, you belong to. That's going to yeah, be fun. Yeah, I think I'm going to be, I don't know what I'm going to be. So yeah, Ravenclaw, you know, I always thought like, you know, they're witty and stuff. Like, that's the thing. They're the smart ones. I'm like, I am not the smart one. <laughs> yes, you are. Jamie <laughs> reads. No, it's originality. Like and books. Yeah. <laughs> like books. Like a book with pages. Yeah, I read the last Harry Potter book in one day. All right. So, yeah. Yeah, one day. Um, but it's also, they're also um, about creativity and originality. Well, I was like, all right, art student. I all right. It. <laughs> Got this. Got yeah. this. So, um, yeah, you, I'm thinking I don't you're going to be smart. Ravenclaw, or, you know, I'm not even sure. I have you pegged as a Ravenclaw. Do we'll you? See. Yeah. What's Slytherin? We'll like, what would, like, um, hold on, I'm going to look it up. No, I know wait. it's, like, ambitious with them, cleverness, um, that's oh. why I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not clever. No, maybe, I want to be in your house. I want to be your house. roomie. Ron is, too. Ron's a Ravenclaw. Ron's clever. Yeah, he's got the, What do you think Seth would be? Seth will be Hufflepuff. <laughs> He'll be Hufflepuff. He's so um, sweet. Um, Seth? I don't know. We're gonna make Seth him will probably be Slytherin because he's go. a mean... Here they all are. So, like, Ravenclaw's intelligence, wisdom, creativity, and originality. Slytherin is cunning, ambitious, determined, and leadership, which I was like, Ron could be that, too, but he got into Ravenclaw. And Gryffindor's bravery, daring, chivalry, courage. I was like, not me. <laughs> Seth's going to be a Hufflepuff. I see a spider and, like, I'm out. <laughs> Goodbye. Go right before the video. <laughs> Oh, right yeah, before I the video. Fucking sucker didn't come back. <laughs> it was no joke. It had to be like this. It was huge. It was one huge. of the ones that had the, the it had like a little junk in it. Was, it little, had his little things. It was trunk. like <laughs> it was like a it had like a little spider junk. A little spider junk in the trunk. He had spider junk in the trunk. She, and, uh, see Hufflepuff is loyalty, kindness, honesty, friendship. I was like, I'm Hufflepuff. I'm Hufflepuff. I'm curious. So we'll let so, you guys know next week. We'll have that all we'll, we'll that that super pertinent information for you next week. Um, so, I want to talk about, um, we're at, right now, right before we watch this video today, uh, we're at 33 subscribers. Oh, no, Hi, guys. Really Yay, subscribers. Thank you Thank for you. subscribing. And, um, that is one third on the way to 100 subscribers. So, it's pretty difficult to get 100 subscribers, yeah, I think. for us, anyway. So, we want to do a 100 subscriber giveaway. Yay! another giveaway um that one giveaways are fun giveaways are fun <laughs> so in order to be a part of this giveaway you have to um you have to join our Ravelry group so that we can like keep tabs on you because you can subscribe to this but we don't it doesn't tell us who you are so in the show notes again we're going to put yeah. in the Ravelry group in there um and we'll have it set up for you guys and we'll start a thread in there for the 100 subscribers giveaway and um what should we we should have a question for them to answer I don't know. Think of a question. We're gonna think of a question, <laughs> but we don't know the we don't know what the question is gonna be yet. But I definitely have like uh, the gift already for you guys. Oh, did you get? Something? I did. I did. I was supposed to show you before and I didn't. 
So I hope this is okay. If, you know, I'm sure it will be. I hope this is okay with Jamie. Um, but I don't know if you guys are familiar with Tiny Owl Knits. Oh, I love the Tiny Owl Knits. <laughs> On Ravelry. <laughs> Um, her name is Stephanie Dosen. I have knit one of her patterns. Actually, this should have been in the FOs, but it's not. I knit That's this a long, long time ago, like when I first discovered her. Um, this is the Orchids and Fairy Lights um, hat. It's so soft looking. It's, it's in Malabrigo uh, worsted in the pearl colorway, which I didn't think I was going to like, but it's actually like, looks good. It, I don't know. It look, looks really good. It's yeah. really pretty. Um, and it's like, I don't know, it's just like this really cool textured little hat. And it's got like a slight slouch to it. Um, a really, really, really fun knit. And a um, very flattering hat. And normally, you know, like I've bought all her patterns on uh, through her Tiny Owl Knits Ravelry store. And I was at my job uh, yeah, yesterday, the day before yesterday. And... Um, I was looking at some new books and stuff, and check this out. My bag. <laughs> the bag that I had all my stuff in now has nothing in it, and now it's like across the yard. We'll catch it. Um, she has a book out. Awesome. And I, I was, I just it. grabbed it, and I was like, this? Is that her? Yeah. It is her. Isn't that cool? So, the reason I got so psyched was because I had already made this hat and knew it was a really fun knit, and it's in here, along with... Uh, quite a few other patterns. Um, there it is. Ooh. It's in here. So it's included in this little booklet. There are seven enchanting projects to make and share by her. The one on the cover is included. Here's some more on the back cover. Um, I want to make these. They're like the little felted <laughs> yeah. bunny slippers. They're so cute. Her st I mean, her, her stuff, stuff is, is cool. just so whimsical. She has and, nice stuff. And so different. So, so different. Um, so there are quite a few patterns in here. So this little book will be the 100 subscriber oh, giveaway. She's got something in the Harry Potter Knits book, too. She has something yeah, in the Harry Potter Knits book. Potter so Nets. I forget which one. I'll have to look it up. This she giveaway does. fit better into our podcast than I thought it would. I just saw it and I was like, oh my god, she's got a book. Ah, I went crazy, right? So please subscribe. You, we will open a thread. We will come up with a question for you guys. Come up with a Harry Potter question. What do you mean that they have to answer the that they have to answer so that we so that you guys can be a part of the thread? Because you have to be a part of the thread. Yeah, I can't so. It'll be on there. It'll be under uh, 100 subscriber giveaway and page one. The first uh, post will be Jamie's question that she's going to come up with for you guys to answer to be a part of. And as soon as we hit 100 subscribers. Um, we'll, we'll take a look at everything and we'll go through it. And then the winner is the winner. That's how it's done. So, that's all I have. And that is all I have. I'm excited about everything. Sure. I brought a Be lot you. of finished objects with me today. Like, way too many. No, it was good. I feel like I didn't have enough. Mom broke. I know. That I is... freaked out. We're just nerding out now. <laughs> I really, really hope that you guys didn't, like, um, get mad when we talked about that. But, like, spoiler. I'm like, you know, you guys, it's yeah. Saturday. You had a whole week to watch it. You did. And if you're not keeping up with Shame it, you Shame if you haven't gone. <laughs> I know. We should have a... Shame. We should have a... Oh, I think we're going to bring, like, a bell next time. Whenever we feel sh shame coming on, shame. we're going to ring the bell. Yeah. Right? Yeah, we should. Shame. We didn't talk about our two. I know people might be oh. curious about our mugs this week. I don't know where this one came from, though. This one's from Starbucks. Yes, it's a this Starbucks is like, New York mug. Yeah, this then they have like the city, um, the city mugs. Yeah. Look, there's a Starbucks there because there's a Starbucks in every freaking corner. And of course, you know, a New York taxi. So that you know it's New York because <laughs> you know, and also it says. Ooh. New York City oh, on there. There's a little design in here too. Oh, right? So cute. My mom got me this. I don't know where she got it. I'll have to ask her. But I love it. It's rainbow. It says love. I like that. I like that mug. It's just cool. So Jamie, um, if anybody's ever curious about what we're doing, so many people talk about like their tea and stuff like that. Um, I'm drinking like yogi tea. Uh, that is, it's like a sleepy time, bedtime caramel tea, which it's delicious. It's delicious. It's like the closest flavor I can come to, like, Tivana, mm -hmm. without, Tivana's expensive. 
Yeah, um, it's an expensive. So I just, I, it's good. And there's little, like, inspirational, um, it says, uh, love is an infinite victory. It's inspiring. Very inspiring. All right. I am not drinking tea or coffee. I am drinking hot chocolate. And not just any hot chocolate. It's Arctic white hot chocolate. It's 78 <laughs> degrees. Just saying. And Jamie's yep. all like, I'm getting a hot flash. Oh. Like, <laughs> While I'm drinking hot chocolate. I don't. <laughs> <so hot. laughs> I'm dying. Well, I can't drink coffee or tea. So, hot chocolate it is. <laughs> we feel bad for you. Yeah, feel bad. For but me. she gets to have hot chocolate like every single day, and I might, I might have, have some. And then, okay, so we're gonna end it, and um, we will see everybody next time. Thank you for coming back. Please see our show notes at the end. Yes. Bye. Bye. It's gruesome, you know. <laughs> And, and graphic look, scenes. Graphic scenes. <laughs> if you have a, you know, if you have a, uh, it's, uh, it's funny. I yeah, I I'm sorry. I'm I was saying. like, no. <laughs> if you have a weak stomach, look away. You know. Or. <laughs> they they do that, and then like they it's just continue the stuff. I love. They discontinue stuff like due to lack of interest, but like who doesn't yeah, have it's interest? Like, I'm interested. That should that should be it. fund the company for just, Jamie. Yeah, for me. We're still rolling.